Evening guys, Martin here from TSI. Hope you're well. Good evening and nearly at the end of this week again already. Just want to do a little video blog updatey thing. We haven't really done one in ages, so I figured I'd just talk at you for a little bit. It's an exciting day for TSI. We finally got a order form on the website for you guys if you want to jump on and pre-order a TSI polo shirt. Certainly are going to be a lot nicer than these cheap crappy things I had made a little while ago, just made locally. Again, cheap crap, have, have sufficed, but the ones we're going with are from one of our good friends, Tyler, who is one of the Aussie airsofters that travels to New Zealand. He's one of the organizers of Oz1, and he also does a lot of the shirts for the Oz1, etc, etc. So he's got an Aussie business, so... I originally was going to go with the bunker branding sort of things from the US, which is the Demolition Ranch YouTube channel family. But a lot of people said I'd prefer Aussie made. And I must admit, I completely forgot that Tyler ran this, his business. And Phil said to me, contact Tyler. Got on to Tyler. And a few dollars dearer, but definitely, definitely going that way. The shirts we're getting are really nice sporty fit kind of polo not narrow not tight fit but sport style material a polyester blend a uh, mesh panel down the side is a dark charcoal and then we're going with the TSI a little bit like this but in black the TSI gun family which is that gun family I don't know if you can see them but it's going to be on the front here and across the back similar to this one we've got our two um our two where's my pack our two guys on the hillside across our back. Now, for those of you that don't know, the silhouette of these two fellas, that is Airsofters in the UK. That photo was taken by Iggy, and we've turned it into our, our logo way back when we first started. So these two boys, I'm not sure what their names are. Iggy will chime in if you want to know. They will be forever with us at TSI, and I've not met them. <laughs> so uh, $45 for the polos. And a little bit of freight if you need me to post it to you. If not, you can pick it up from me at Azriel's or here or meet me at an event or something. We will be going to the Operation Tempest Milsim the second to last weekend of March. Fingers crossed I've got the shirts by then and I can bring them. Um, so yes, super excited. Already had six orders online just this afternoon. You fill in the order form and I'll send you an invoice with payment details. We don't have a shopping cart on the website. All right, other big, big news for the gel ball world is, excuse the packaging, gel balls. These are freshly grown this afternoon. I don't know if you can see any oversize or undersize. You probably can't really tell. The light's probably shining off terribly. These are the brand spanking new out this, well, late last week. Ozgel Armatech Elites. Now, these gels, as Dan from Ozgel quite rightly said, these gels are as big of a leap from current Armatex and Alpha King Super Hard gels as it was going from the old school Milky White Gold Pack gels to Armatex or AKs. That jump of hardness has happened again. But the hardness isn't the key factor of these. It's also the consistency in size, which means they fly more consistent. Hardness, yes, of course, means they don't distort in flight. They don't blue, 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 while flying and do the teardrop. I'm sure you've seen a teardrop falling through the through down gravity. It overtakes itself and distorts egg shapes. So do gel balls. The harder you can make them, the less they distort. And the more consistent in size you can make them, the more consistent your feet per second because the barrel seal is the same, and the more consistent your hop-up is going to be at putting the Magnus Effect backspin. So these are incredibly hard. I haven't yet been able to pop one in my fingers. You might have seen the video the other day from Donnybrook. Put it in my fingers. Let's see if I can pop it. Now I've got strong fingers. That literally, I don't know if you can see, that has literally dented my finger by and my thumb by two or three millimeters. They are pretty damn hard. 
That's not to say you can't pop them. If you nick them with your nail, they'll pop straight away. So they are still, most definitely, completely legal as gel balls. Because they are super hydrolyzed polymer gel. They are water absorbed. And they will shrink. They do hydrate. But they've got a very, if I pop one actually, show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. They have a very distinct skin to them. As in like a shell. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. The light's probably not going to help. And the shell is what is important. That's what keeps their shape. Now, they're averaging about 7.2 to 7.3 millimeters in size, which is probably a fraction smaller than we've gotten used to with our Alpha Kings. Now, this is Alpha King gels from the weekend. This has been alongside the the Osgel Ultra Armatex has been the go-to gels for the last year, at least. In my fingers, pop. Okay, I can pop these, not an issue. Can't pop the elites. These, as we said, have been very good. They fly well. They hit quite hard. They don't pop too easily, but they do distort in flight, and they're not super consistent. Whilst they are reasonably consistent, they're not amazing. So you do get more of the odd gel straying here and there, which is obviously where you lose a bit of accuracy from. Now, I did run Elites. These have been in water about five hours. I ran them this evening through four blasters that I had with me. Put them through little Goldilocks, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is a 7mm tight bore barrel, and it's only about 290 feet per second. So, the Armatex, sorry, the uh, Elites being hard, and having to conform down to a tight barrel, I did lose about 20 feet per second. Took this down to around about 260 to 270 FPS. Um, but it did improve my accuracy grouping a little bit. Why did it improve my accuracy grouping? Quite simply because they're all doing the same thing. So whilst they're a little bit harder to get down the barrel and losing a little bit of FPS from drag, they still performed Every bit as good, as if not better than the Alpha Kings, because of the consistency. Now, that's a 7mm tight barrel, but it's only 14cm long. So if I had a 7mm tight barrel that was 35cm long, I'm going to get a lot more drag. In Demi DMR, the one that I ran for the first time on Sunday, this is a 32-ish centimetre barrel, and it's a 7.25 inner Azrael stainless barrel brand new last week now this one lost no fps going from the alpha kings to the elites it lost no fps it's still exactly 300 302 303 fps but definitely improved accuracy through consistency now i must admit i've only used this once on sunday at donnybrook and it was not very accurate i didn't spend the time to tune in the muzzle tech. Now this is a fairly limited run, non-anodized Gen 2 modular muzzle tech. Works every bit as good as your normal muzzle tech plus, but I didn't spend the time to tune it in. However, running the Elites this evening, it was improved over Alpha King. Why? Just consistency in size. This is only 300 FPS, it's not going to be distorting gels much. But what it is doing is it's making them fly more consistently. So, that's a 7mm and a 7.25mm barrel. Okay, so my Falcor. This is a standard APS 7.4mm barrel. Now this, as I think I posted on online, Iggy ran on Sunday afternoon at Donnybrook, and he couldn't believe how accurate it was for a gel blast. Now Iggy's an airsofter, so of course he knows very very good accuracy. But he was extremely surprised at how accurate this was. Now I must admit, when we put Alpha King through it this afternoon, accuracy is improved again through consistency. It's only 300 FPS and a 7.4 more barrel, so it's not compressing the gels down the barrel 
and it's not causing drag through compression, but it's still improved because they're consistent. All right, lucky last is the Tavor. 300 FPS. I don't know what the diamond barrel is because it's the standard Tavor barrel. My guess would be a 7.4, 7.5. Again, these have all got muzzle techs. And accuracy on the weekend. Benny ran it from Azrael. He ran it on the weekend, or in the afternoon, I should say, that he swapped with Iggy. And he was amazed at how accurate it was on the Saturday, Sunday afternoon. This afternoon, I was quite easily at 15 meters able to hit a figurine about this big, probably six out of 10 times. Okay, it's only 12 to 15 meters, but it's the consistency at that point that has to be good to get any form of accuracy at 30 meters. If your grouping is five inches at 12 meters, it's gonna be 10 inches at 25 meters. So it's doubling. So again, a standard size barrel, only a Milsim style 300 FPS, and accuracy was absolutely superb. Now, I don't have any high power blasters. My highest power blaster is, well, they're all 300. <laughs> so um, the next test is obviously gonna be getting the gels through a high power blaster. Now that's something we'll probably be doing tomorrow at work. I do know Shaka has got quite a few available that are easily up to 400 FPS. So we've got to put the gels through the ringer there, see how they go with the higher FPS. But I have absolutely no doubts in the world that these things are going to handle it as well, and I'm assuming better than Alpha Kings did. Alpha Kings can quite comfortably run at 480 FPS. Um, if you've got a dud gel, it'll pop. If you've got a dud elite gel, it'll pop. As soon as that outer skin, the outer layer is damaged in any way, it's going to damage it. It's probably going to burst. But my guesstimation is the elites with that shell that we looked at the shell is firmer there's probably going to be less popping even with a little bit of damage because it's got to get all the way through that that shell so super exciting news on the gels so massive heartfelt well done to dan uh, at ausgel no doubt this has been many 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 months of r d and development as it always is for ausgel dan is the absolute og of gels Three years, I guess you're coming up to now. And um, yeah, this is a huge leap. Still, obviously, not airsoft. These are completely water-based gels. And it's a massive step in the right direction. So that's super. Um, that's all I've really got to say right now, other than very excited uh, to be both sponsoring Damage Cartel as part of their speedball events. They are playing a game, a tournament style seeding event, I think it is next Wednesday at Hardcore Blasters in Ipswich. Might try and get out there with you, not to play, obviously. And um, TSI are also not announced yet, but we are heavily involved with the ComSims Operation Tempest Milsim game at the, I think it's 21st, 22nd, 23rd, around then of March. So, super exciting stuff. I'm going to leave that there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for ordering shirts. Get some of these super awesome jelly bean ball things from Azrael's or Dan at Ozgel. And, um, yeah, shoot some gels. Love it. Get out there and play. Thank you very much, guys. Have a lovely evening.